he never thought that he'd be president, <laughs> let alone be president and having a discussion on why books are being banned <laughs> in America. Uh-huh. I will say this. I never thought he'd be president either. So at least we agree on that. Mm-hmm. There is one point of uh, uh, of just friendly banter between us. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I never thought so either. But then you get to the fact that there's so much book banning going on that he keeps mentioning. <laughs> you know, not allowing five and six-year-olds access to learning every single sexual position perversion and preference known to mankind why would we want to limit our five-year-olds in any learning endeavor but especially when you're talking about sex why are you keep let them learn it (laughs) what is the matter with you republicans in florida why it's incredible i mean (laughs) it's incredible and and of course they always do what they accuse the other side yes, of doing. Yes, they do. Do you not recall yes, a few years do. ago that Democrats were trying to get to kill a mockingbird uh, banned from schools? That's right. Right. Who, and who's Dr. banning Seuss? books? Remember and Dr. Dr. Seuss? Seuss? Too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, ju- <sighs> I mean, it's amazing. And this is what he's overseeing. His pre- he can't believe it. He can't believe it. I can't. I mean, here's a guy who's been an active participant in overseeing the end of actual science and biology. He's been an active participant in the fanatical effort to kill babies. He is striving hard to destroy free speech, to destroy the Second Amendment, our sovereign borders, pronouns, uh, women's sports, affordable energy, including gasoline, which is up 71% still from three years ago. Uh, he's been instrumental in eliminating affordable food. And maybe worst of all, um, he's he is the all-time leader in the evil war to eliminate truth itself. I mean, you can't you can't even make the truth stick anymore. They will they will never they don't talk about truth. They continue lies that they've been called out on, even by their own people. In the Washington Post, the New York Times, uh, CNN, over and over and over, the press is saying, look, this is just not true. And we've tried to tell him before, but he just keeps saying it. He doesn't care about truth at all. Really, I think that's the first, this is the first time I've ever seen somebody who disregards the truth to this extent. Have we ever seen it before? I mean, at least with Obama, if he got called out on it, he he maybe stopped saying it at every stop, at every single at every single speech he did. Mm. But for Joe Biden, he doesn't care. It <laughs> it emboldens him. In fact, once you start talking about it, you know, and disproving it, he'll he'll keep doing it just to shove it in your face. Look, I don't care about what's what's true and what's not. I don't care. I mean, this is going to sound cynical, but, uh, I mean, the Marxists that have the wheel of power right now in the United States, they don't care what you think. They don't. It's, it's almost like they're so emboldened by, they know the outcome of elections before they happen. It's like they don't have to win you over come mm. November. Mm. They're, mm. They know mm. how things are going to happen, so why do I care what you think? They don't even care what the people in, yeah. in Congress think, their, co- their colleagues across the aisle they don't care. It's, they don't. They're just, it's almost like they're too confident in where things are going. Well, that's my hope. That's my hope, that they're too confident and that that's going to trip them up. Because they do have a really good machine right now, and it's working for them. <sighs> and, you know, when you've got so much control of the media, I love how they always, leftists will whine about the right owning the media. <laughs> <laughs> that is so preposterous. I know, man. And the only thing they can point to is Fox News. Okay. <laughs> i got news for you. That's not even a great example anymore. <laughs> but okay, I'll give you Fox News. You've got everything else. Everything. Except for talk radio. Talk radio, Fox News, period. You've got algorithms on search engines. Yeah. Man. Yeah, right. AI. Oh. Uh, They've already taken over AI. AI. They've got the education system, which is incredibly important. They've got the critical control of our our youth. 
So they have that. They have all TV and movies, streaming, uh, print. Mm-hmm. Now, if you if you still see the uh, ancient print newspapers, if they still come <laughs> to your door, uh, y- you know what we're talking about. Honestly, when's the Always last time slanted. you've seen a newspaper sitting in one of your neighbor's driveways? Oh, man, it's been so long. I don't even <laughs> see those local things. Yeah. Because I think they got tired of people they going directly to the garbage.